Hi, I'm Angela Wolf, fashion designer and online instructor. Today we're going to talk about the 60s. The 60s were really fun. If you remember, things got a little crazy, so I thought, let's make a mini skirt with all the crazy flowers from the 60s. I think that kind of rolled into the 70s too, but this is where it started. So this is actually a denim, a white denim. I have white jeans out of this. And these are all applique flowers and circles. And then I embroidered over it to make it look like this was custom fabric. This is so easy to do and it's really fun. So here, let's just look at what I have here. First of all, the fabrics that I chose for the applique are things that you would walk by in the fabric store and you would never think of putting on an expensive garment. So look at this, this is just a real thin silver foil. This one's really wrinkly. The reason I pulled this one out to show you is on this skirt, there are a few appliques that have some wrinkles. I did that on purpose because what you do is you put a backing on this and the ones I wanted wrinkled, I would wrinkle up just like this piece here. I put the backing on after it's wrinkled which is ideal, because that's what I wanted. That's the look I wanted. So those are a couple pieces. Here's again another fun piece. This one's really messy. Test it, test a small swatch first. If you don't like what it looks like after you cut it out, like this piece here, I wrinkled and I put the backing on and I didn't like that. It was half uneven, so I decided not to use it. This piece looked great. So this is what the backing looks like. It's just a paper, and when this comes off, this is a little sticky, and that's what you press to the garment. So let's go ahead and use a fabric cutter to make these appliques. Here I'm gonna use different colors. I'm gonna show you exactly what I did, but the brighter colors I think you'll see a little bit better. So here's the back of the skirt. I appliqued and embroidered the back and the front pieces before I sewed the skirt together. So I'm actually creating the fabric, but I did cut out the design. So here, this is gonna be some flowers. This is yellow fabric. I'm gonna put it into the fabric cutter. And it's always a good idea to test first, test to make sure it cuts. So we're gonna set that, scan in the paper. The nice part, let's see, let's load this in. The nice part is that I had a lot of pieces here, and this is one big piece, but the scanner will tell me where these pieces are so I don't waste any fabric. So I actually ended up with a lot of flowers and then I used the circle part inside of the flower for some of the designs. So we're gonna scan this in, it'll show me where the fabric is. I'm gonna test, here's my little square. I'm gonna move it over, move it over far enough that you don't rip any edges of the fabric. And we're just going to hit okay and we're going to test. This just takes a quick second, and trust me, it's worth spending the time doing that. Let's see here, get a little scraper, use my fingernail, it came up perfectly, perfect. Okay, so the design that I chose for this skirt are just a bunch of flowers. Let's, any of these right here are perfect. There's five, six different colored flowers, some have circles in the middle, you can make them any size, which I really had a lot of fun with that. And I just would cut three or four at a time. You can move them around. And then you can add other designs, whatever you want. But the flowers were really fun, really easy. And that's it, now it's gonna cut. So while that's cutting, let me show you what I've already done here. This piece is already cut, see how I had different styles? And when I lift this up, you can see the paper backing comes off and this has the adhesive. And just take a bunch of different, whatever you have, different fabrics, and place them anywhere on your design. This was kind of tricky because I had some circles. I just did whatever. Here's another piece of silver. And utilize every part, even the center. Again, picking off the back. Here's some flowers. This is the exact flower that I have on the skirt in a different size. I'm gonna add a little bit more here. You can cross patterns over each other. Just make, just have fun with it. And I'm just gonna do just a few more to show you how this works. I think you're getting the idea. After you have everything placed the way you want it, you take the iron and you just lightly press. No steam and do not use a high heat on this silver fabric because it melts 
and I'm telling you that by experience. All right, here we go. It's just, but you want to make sure it's on good enough that when you go to embroider, the pieces don't start falling off. The nice part about the, the backing on this fabric and the applique and the way it cuts in the machine is it hardly frays at all. Some of it will just slightly, but not much. Okay, we get all that on there. And I would do this for all my pieces. I would lay out the back, both back pieces, the front piece. Make this a little bit hotter, it's not sticky. And make sure I like the design. And then if you need to add more anywhere, go ahead. Here we go. A little, a little steam is coming off of here, which I don't want. Okay. There we go. Now, I really didn't want that steam, but it worked. So you really don't want to use steam on this, though. They look like they're pretty stuck. Okay, so these other flowers came out. Here we go. Mellow spatula. Peels right off. Perfect. There we go. Yeah, and you got a little circle. So, and then there's more. I could put more on here. So all of these, you can add any shape. See how this is kind of fun and crazy. Yellow and silver. Now in there, obviously, I used all silver with some white. All right, so now, after you have all of these laid out, and the reason I lay out all my skirt pieces first before I embroider is I want to make sure it kind of sinks. Let's look at the skirt one more time here. On the back, this is the back piece. I wanted to make sure there was enough everywhere so you didn't end up with a bunch of things here and nothing there. And again, back to the front. See, it's not symmetrical, but it's evenly placed. That's, you don't want to look like you've just stuck a bunch of stuff on your skirt. So here we go, there's that. And then we have our embroidery hoop. This is water soluble stabilizer with a sticky backing. Just place this in. This is perfect. This hoop is so big, it fits the whole skirt. Now remember that when you're embroidering, it's probably not going to go right to the edge. So what I did with each one of these is I ended up embroidering, there you go. I ended up embroidering four different sections. And it depends what size your skirt is as well. Maybe you need four, maybe you need six. But I didn't want to put this all the way to the edge because I wanted the embroidery to go everywhere. I want this to look like custom fabric. So stick this on. And I made a few changes to the design that I wanted. Remember that if you have an embroidery machine, there's a lot of built-in designs. You don't have to go exactly with. There you go. All right, let's go to the embroidery machine. Slide my embroidery hoop here. Now, if your skirt is larger or you're doing this on a jacket or a larger piece, make sure that the sides of your fabric are away. Like, don't get it tucked underneath this hoop. And you might have to, like I said, I embroider four different times on this small piece, so you might have to do more. But just make sure that your fabric's out of the way but not getting stuck under the hoop. So I chose a design that had a lot of circles and some flowers. This is what I did on the white skirt as well. But I made a few adjustments. Remember, you can make changes to these designs. So there's the design I chose. I went in and I made it larger, number one. The larger it is, the less I have to change. And I moved it over. And let's see, what else did I do? I tried to get as much on the same screen as I could. And I'm just going to mirror that image. That's kind of fun. So I want to take up as much space with the embroidery as I can because I want this to look like fabric. The one thing that I did is I used all one color of thread. So let me just get out of the screen here. And I just chose where everything is going to be one thread. This way, on the other skirt I did all white. On this one, I'm gonna use white so you can see it, but I could have used all pink and it would look like the fabric. Okay, and it shows everything is one color. Now, I could either use the placement of where all this is gonna go by using the snowman or this feature here, but I'm going to use a scan feature that will show me the fabric down below and show my designs on top so there'll be no question about where my embroidery is gonna go. Again, I have my placement of my skirt over a little bit because I want to embroider pretty close to the edge. Not into the seam allowances, but pretty close to the edge. 
Okay, let's see. That's really good. Now, if you look closely, you can see my design below. And it looks like it's going pretty close to the edge, but I can still even move this around to wherever I want it. And these flowers are in here. Now, one more thing. With the design that I chose, on the white skirt, I used these flowers with the circles all together for every single piece. And then I wanted more circles. So I actually went back, started all over, and went back and embroidered again, and just chose the first color, which was just the circles, and left out the flowers. So again, be creative. You don't have to use the exact design. And so this looks pretty good. It fills up almost everything. Um, that looks pretty good. So I think, let's go ahead and embroider. Nothing's off of the page. And the other thing is, even if it went off your skirt a little bit, it doesn't matter, it's still in the hoop. So it's just gonna embroider. It's gonna go on top of all of my appliques and maneuver around. The one thing you need to be careful is what backing you use on the appliques, because if you use one that's too tough or too thick or too sticky, it really doesn't, your embroidery machine won't like it. So be very careful on what you choose. I use just a very lightweight with a sticky back. And see how it's just gonna go through everything. You can actually kind of see the circles going around, and that's the circles that I did everywhere. So that is how easy it is to do an applique and an embroidery and create your own fabric for anything. This would be great for a skirt, a jacket, even just the sleeves. Embellish and have fun.